Okay, first graders, we have in the last couple of lessons talked about how the patterns that we learned with adding and subtracting ones stay the same when we are adding and subtracting tens. And so if you know that those patterns are there, you know they're not going to change no matter what our place value is. Well, today we're going to do more than just adding tens though. We're going to have to sometimes add tens and ones. And I'm gonna show you some tricks on how to do that using your um, hundreds chart, okay? So you will want your hundreds chart today when you're doing your math. Let's look at some examples, okay? So I actually have a different hundreds chart I'm using today um, because I have a cool little tool I can use with this one. And this would be a great little tool to maybe see if somebody at your house can help you make for your hundreds chart, okay? Um, so this is my little tool. You can see it has a minus 10 up at the top. Well, it has this little window in the middle. And then above it, it has minus 10 and says 10 less. Below it, it has plus 10 and says 10 more. To the left, it has minus one, one less. And on the right, plus one or one more, okay? So this is going to be a great tool to help us. So let me show you why. We're going to start with a math problem. Um, we'll keep it pretty simple here. We're going to do 20 plus 14, okay? We have 20 plus 14. So what I'm going to do is say, okay, I'm gonna pick a number to start at. I'm just gonna go ahead and start at my 20, okay? So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna put 20 in my window. Then I'm going to look at what 14 means. 14 means a group of 10 and four ones. So, and we are adding, so I'm gonna look at the plus 10 and how many 10s do I need? One, so I'm gonna go down one time for my group of 10 and four more, so I'm gonna do plus four. When I go off the end, oh, I gotta start the next row. Two, one, two, three, four. So I landed on 34. Now, the easier way to do that might have been to think about that you can add in any order. So let's look at this again. We can add in any order. So instead of starting with my 20 and adding 14, I'm gonna flip it around. I'm going to start with the trickier number or the number that has more pieces, 14. Put that at 14. And I'm going to add 20. Because 20 only has one part we need to think about, two groups of 10. So again, plus 10, I move down. One group of 10, two groups of 10. Where did I land? 34. So both ways, I landed at 34, but by um, starting with the number that had 10s and 1s and just adding on 10s, I only had to move one direction. Oh, so much easier. Okay, let's look at a few different problems. Um, let's try 37 plus 3. Now, this one has two different groups. It has tens and ones. There aren't any zeros holding the spot. Three only has ones. So I'm going to start at the number that has tens and ones. I'm going to start at 37. That way I only have to move one direction. Okay, so here I am, 37. We're adding three. So I'm adding by one, one at a time, and I'm going to add three. So plus one moves in this direction. One, two, three. What's my sum? 37 plus three equals 40. Okay, let's do 40 plus 51. What does that equal? 
I'm going to look first and see if the numbers have um, two different place values or just one. So here we have four tens and zero ones. Here I have five tens and one one. So this one has more pieces to it. It has tens and ones. So I'm going to start at that one. I'm going to start here at 51. Okay. There I am, 51. And it says um, we're adding. So I'm going to add four tens from over here. Remember on our little tool, tens is moving down, adding tens is moving down. So I'm going to add one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens. What's my sum? 91. Okay, so I'm going to take that little tool away and we're going to do this, the motions um, so that if you don't have a little tool, you can still use your hundreds chart. You just have to remember that when we're adding ones, we move from left to right. If we're adding tens, we move from top to bottom. Okay, so let's look at um, 28 plus 50. Okay, since I see a zero here, I know I just have to worry about the tens. Where here I have tens and ones to think about. So that's going to be my starting number. Okay, so I'm going to go find 28. There it is. And then we're going to add five tens. Adding tens, we move down. Add one ten, two tens, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. Where did I land? 78. Perfect. Okay. Let's try another one. Okay, so I have seven plus 52. Seven is just the ones place. 52 has tens and ones. So since that has more pieces, that's going to be my starting place. 52. We're adding seven. Seven is just one. So we're going to move to side to side. Ready? Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7 plus 52 is 59. Okay, now there might be some problems that roll over the top. What do I mean by that? We might have something like 88 plus 4. Okay, here I am at 88 plus 4. That's just ones. So I'm starting at 88 because it has tens and ones. Plus four, one, two, go off the edge, start a new row, three, four, 92. Okay, so remember that if you go off the edge, you have to start the new row to continue counting. Okay, so that is how we use our hundreds chart to help us add. Ready? Good luck. <laughs>